so I don't know what to do. Ah! Just had a little fall down the other day. 18 years, what's that? Ah! Those are big lambs. So I have to go back? Okay, another grand reveal. I was about to say good morning and then I realized it's the afternoon. I am running in, I wanna see how those ewe lambs are doing and then today is weigh day. I would like to weigh those market lambs again this week. Probably gonna look at that 95 pounds and up again. I'm just ready for this market to start. I said this last week uh, and the market ended up being not that bad. I gotta keep these lambs going out the door because I wanna wean that whole group next week and we are getting really short on space. So let's go look at those ewe lambs, see how they're doing, and then we'll go across the road and weigh those market lambs. Hello, Ruby Sue. How is your night? How are ya? Bye. So the ladies look pretty good. There's no one in the feed bunk today, so that's progress. <laughs> Ruby, no. you wait long enough, sheep do come up to you. No. 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 I guess I took footage of Jess and Mark filling up the drill and I never really told you what they were doing. So after wheat harvest, when the straws picked up, we like to spread all the manure. Uh, we have some sheep manure, of course, but we also uh, take all of my in-laws broiler breeder manure. They have two big manure storages that we're kind of in charge of cleaning out. So yeah, so that is done and Mark then uh, in some of the field in all of the fields, he takes uh, some light tillage to it because we want to incorporate the manure into the into the soil. Uh, partly because of the scent, like the smell. We don't want to make our neighbors mad, so we like to get it as quick as we can. We like to incorporate it into the ground. And then what, he, what you saw right now, they're loading up the planter with uh, something called a cover crop. And it's a multi-species, so I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I think we have some sunflowers, some faba beans. Uh, some oats, some Austrian winter pea, some Ethiopian cabbage. It's like, it's quite a mix, a uh, multi-diverse mix. And what that does, it helps the manure. So the manure is in the ground, but that cover crop will actually translocate all those nutrients from the manure into the soil, makes the soil way more fertile, helps increase our organic matter. And then uh, in turn, we're hoping we can rely a lot less on um, added like synthetic fertilizers and just just give more life and vitality to that soil. So I love that part of our business. We're taking big yields off these off these soils and it's up to us to replenish them again. You can't just keep taking and taking and taking without giving back to it. Um, eventually those soils will give up on you. So that's been our goal since we started farming is to add cover crops and try to, you know, become a lot less reliant on synthetic and more uh, kind of letting nature do what nature wants to do. So that is what you saw there. And I thought I'd just explain that instead of just showing that showing that footage. Um, I get so scatterbrained. I apologize. Just finished weighing my market lambs. And I'm in a bit of a quandary. I don't think I have enough ready. There's only 12 ready to go, which to me isn't really worth the drive. And the highest weight I think was only around, I should check actually, what's the stats? So my average weight on this group was 97 pounds. So if I take off five pounds shrink, then we're down to 92 pounds. 
and I was hoping more my average sale weight would be 95 so they need another week next week we were potentially trying to get away um, so I don't know what to do I think my gut is saying I have to wait two weeks to really make it worth the drive up there but the problem is I'm not sure what the markets gonna do so it's one oh, I just I hate this I wish they were growing a bit faster now the good thing is there's not many left so 12 isn't gonna make a big difference uh, and I do have a half I have this whole half aside so what I could do is put the ewe lambs I could actually move them to that other side of the barn on the, at the back and then my new lambs would have this whole side which is ample room for what size they are uh, so I think my gut is saying hold off I think I'm better off waiting you want me to do a pass and like show you or do you know how to do everything you want to do it once for home? Sure. Okay. That's all there is to <laughs> Press a button. Now I'm done. <laughs> Press a button. Shall I turn around? Oh, I so sleepy. Is it boring? Are we going this way? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm just tired. Ugh. Why are you tired? What time do you go to bed? 11. So you didn't sleep well. Wired. What's the matter, Jess? I'm wired, man. Why are you wired? Just... It's because you didn't get your skateboarding in last night. Yeah. And... <laughs> didn't fall down a hill. Jess had a little fall down the other day on her longboard. She's taking up a new sport for the first time in her 18 years. What's that? It's me. I'm showing you my knee. Oh, that's her boo-boo. <laughs> the one my hip, like, so. oh. All right, so we're planting cover crop. Jess has to go milk cows, so I am taking over for Jess for the rest of this field, I guess. How long you been at it? A couple hours? Uh, I've been doing it for two hours, probably. Okay. But, uh, you might have to fill up. Really? Yeah, I don't know if I'll hold it. Yeah, I won't why is that not? Why is that not on? I don't know, I don't know. It'll tell you. Well, this will tell you. Oh, I see. Alright. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. So, I, I took over for Jess, so I've been planting. I've got a few rounds planted here, and it's good. We're at Mark's dad's place, so since all my videos in the last few videos have have talked a little bit about the history of the farm it's kind of nice that we're here so uh, a little bit about where we are um, when I first met Mark uh, a, our neighbor lived here um, he had a trucking business and he did some renovations on the house and then I think I can't remember what happened but him and his wife I think the kids grew up and moved out and then I think they just they bought a house somewhere else and uh, and and my father-in-law and my mother-in-law purchased this farm, I believe. Or did Mark and I? Actually, I think. Anyways, I can't remember. The family bought the farm. I think there's like. I think it's just shy of a hundred acres, but I don't think we work a hundred acres. I was in low speed. Oops. Anyway, uh, when we turn around, I can show you the front, but basically Dave has since moved into this farm with his now partner because Mark's mom and dad divorced in early the early 2000s. Mark's dad has a brother breeder farm. Uh, he, he runs that with, his, with Mark's brother, Jamie, and I actually used to work with them too. So it was the three of us kind of running it. And in the midst of kind of their really old barns, we started building kind of new ones here at home and the two that are on this property are the baby bird barns so they're the it's called a pullet farm so i'll show you when we turn around it is a beautiful property they've done a lot of work on the property they've fixed up the house really nice and yeah so when we turn around and go that way then i'll show you the big barns that are for the for the baby birds okay here are the barns so that's the oldest one and then they built that one a few years later 
and then the office. There's a building in the middle with an office and a wash bay for biosecurity and whatnot. Oh, that's terrible, you can't really see. There they are, it's a better picture. So yeah, those are for broiler breeder. They're the baby birds for broiler breeders. Just finished, pulled it up. I, uh, I almost finished this field and I ran out of seat, so I had to go back, refill, and come back and finish it up. But we're all done. That was 88.7 acres. So now I go back and either go to another field or that'll be it for the night. I don't know. They weren't like, holy tar, are you filming me right now? Mm -hmm. They weren't like fully charged, but I lost in grandma's field. Don't do that. Do what? Why are you in my face? Are you, are you on poop? I don't need a pop paparazzi. May I, may I just comment on how many Burks and Blundstones we own? None of them are mine. Have a good day, honey. Bye bye. She's waiting for mommy. Mommy. I'm really hoping my dumpster comes today. I waited all day for it yesterday thinking it was coming yesterday and then Jess is like no it's coming Friday. Let's go do some sheep chores. Hmm. I knew the barn was awfully loud. Someone's in the creep area that should not be. Those are big lambs. Mamas, this is not your pen. Where you go? Think I'll get them out? I'm testing out a new creep gate. Apparently, they got a rod off. All right, you guys. Out. Out. Honestly, at the same time. Oh. There you go. All right. Okay, that's good. After a very nutritious lunch of McDonald's. Sorry, I love McDonald's. I have my big bin. It got delivered this morning. I was told there was a hole in the floor and I see one there, but it's right over the, uh, our John Deere. You guys have been asking what this antique John Deere tractor is. Um, Mark bought it a few years ago from a wonderful family that does an immaculate job of of fixing these so it's an MT if that helps I have no idea on my tractors but this is his pride and joy and it was covered with a sheet and now it's not so I don't know what happened there so now it's really covered in dust so he wants to get it out of here and cleaned up again but yes he's very proud of that um, so there is a hole in the floor there which would have been sweet, but I don't want to dump stuff on top of his tractor. And supposedly there's another hole. I don't see it. There's my honey. Is there a hole, another hole in the floor? No, there's, oh, there's one there. No, there's two. There's one right above your, your tractor. 
from the other room. But this will work much better. Um, well, maybe. There's a bunch of crap I mean, down here. The only bad news is the fact that you went back to there was I needed death. So I have to go back? <laughs> so sorry. Mm. Okay, we have to start this afternoon over again because I had to run to town and get some DEF. If you know what that is, it's like a fuel additive for our new tractors. It is such a pain if you're a farmer. You can, I think you can relate uh, when you run out. So we usually get it in bulk and we've run out of that. And so I had to go get the, the smaller jugs, which are not small when you're trying to dump it into the tractor. And whoever designed the actual jug needs a kick in the keister because it is the most god-awful unit of a thing. The people who sell DEF are the ones that probably designed it because you lose half of it. It's all over my legs. Can you see that? It was all over my hands. It feels like, like it dries your skin up instantly. It feels kind of like perox you're dumping peroxide all over your body. So it's all in my hangnails. Anyways, that's my little, that's my rant for the day sometimes. Farmers need to design some stuff that they have to use all the time. All right, it is time to go. I got my low, I got my telehandler up to the hole. That thing, I tell you, it is my favorite piece of equipment. You know this, and it's for days like this too. So I'm gonna go upstairs and see what we can uh, see if I can even get to that hole because I'm pretty sure I got everything buried on top of it. All right, Let's see if I can find this hole. I feel like it's probably right under that tub. Um, or right under there. I'm thinking it's in there somewhere.
Oh boy. Okay, good. I did a lot in one day, one afternoon. Okay, another grand reveal. Okay, it's not completely done, but you most definitely can see the floor. Crazy, eh? And my dumpster's full. It's been full for about an hour. <laughs> and I had a little bit of an ubu. I'm not gonna show you it because it's right on my buttocks, but it's a big old scratch. So the things that I still have to do, I have to organize all these old tools of Mark's grandpa. Um, just a lot of like chisels and old wrenches and screwdrivers and um, pry bars and treasures but look at these now if you're canadian you'd know what that is but it's labat stubbies so that's pretty cool so there's some things that we want to keep an old planer i think those are called planers that stuff reminds me reminds me of my grandpa some saws so yeah as much as i can take away i tossed um, Mark's grandpa worked on the phone company and so we have a ton of these old glass insulators. We have like one, two, three, four huge boxes full of them. So I have no idea what to do with them because I don't know what to do with them. My friend's a designer so I'm going to see if she could have some use for them uh, decorating or something. Um, and then other than that it's just some stuff I want Mark to go through and uh, yeah I did pretty good. Between this room and this room. We've been busy. It's 20 to 6. I've been at this for probably about three hours. And uh, I have a hair appointment tonight. As you can tell. That's not all dust. I wish. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. And tomorrow morning we're weaning. Weaning lambs. So that should be fun. So we will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. Gotta try out this tub with my stubby and my S wrench. What would you use a wrench like this for? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Cheers.